Hello and welcome back to Warsword Conquest, and I just gotta say very quickly, if you've seen the previous episode, then I apologize for that section that is currently muted, because I had to do a little bit of weird stuff with that, YouTube didn't tell me that it was copyrighted, but yeah, well, whatever the case, sorry for that, and I just wanted to actually say what I said in that section, because I felt like it was actually kind of useful information, if you're gonna play the mod, or maybe you're just interested in general. Uh, what I found out when we were, well, should we say, when I was going into a bunch of, you know, uh, dungeons off screen, didn't even notice this actually <laughs> to before, you know, uh, beforehand, to be fair, but that's the thing. Dungeons, okay? Dungeons. If you're going into a short length dungeon, you're going to get between 18 to 19 renown. If you go into a medium one, you get uh, 28 to 29. And then if you go into a long dungeon, you're going to get 38, 39. Um, yeah, that's the information basically that I wanted to mention there because I personally feel like that's extremely useful and important. And I actually think that doing a long dungeon is extremely, extremely so much worth it. Um, shall we say maybe more worth it than doing a short one because you get basically double the renown for it and you only have to do two more levels. Really, really useful in my opinion. Anyway... Let's go into the Rune Forge. You enter the Giant Forge and are greeted by the head runesmith whose team is working hard in the fires behind him. What would you like to do? Okay, so I'd like to know how runes work, um, but also I know for a fact that I won't be able to afford buying a rune weapon at the... Oh, well, a rune thing at the moment. Um, because someone told me that it's like 100,000 or something like that, which I gotta say I'm in eternally disappointed about, but it's okay. We're gonna earn some good cash as we go on. I'd like to know how runes work. Each item can have a maximum of three runes. Some runes can have more than one of the same kind inscribed to an item to increase the effect. Okay, good to know. Uh, so you can stack them. You can only purchase each type of master rune once. If you want to purchase a particular master rune again, you must melt down the current item which has it inscribed. If you lose an item, then you will be able to repurchase any master rune lost. If you have more than one runic banner, you can choose which banner to use in battle in the camp menu. You can only give runic items to dwarven companions. Oh, that's really cool actually. Okay, so if you have more than one runic banner... Don't know what a runic banner is, but I guess we'll see. Ah, the, these are the runic banners right here. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if... Does this actually do anything for me buying the, these these uh, runic banners? Does that actually do anything? I don't think so, right? Anyway, um, so let me let me just see. So, wait a minute. How do I... How do I buy... <laughs> how do I buy runes? Do I, do I have to purchase these banners? Does that actually do anything? I mean, l let me actually just leave here real, real quick second. Wait a minute. If you have more than one runic banner, you can choose which banner to use in battle in the camp menu. But these are not runes. Th these are not runes. Where are the runes? I don't see any runes right here. Am I, am I stupid or... I actually have no idea, but as you can see, there isn't anything that I can actually purchase right now. Someone actually told me that the Dwarven Runic Rifle is apparently exceptional if you go for something that increases its reload speed and its accuracy. Um, so that could be kind of fun, but I'm also thinking about something that ignores ward save, because I am eternally annoyed by ward save. So I'm thinking that I might get something like this, like a Dwarven Runic Axe. I think that sounds pretty good. I don't really want to get a two-handed. I am a one-handed specialization, as it is. And we could also, of course, get armor as well. The armor is not that good at the moment, at least. Maybe we can actually make it better uh, with some improvements. I assume we can. Let's buy some armor. Aha, there we go. Okay, so now we can purchase a rune for the items. Okay, so let's actually see. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, this is very, very painful indeed. Okay, I want advanced ignore pain actually pretty badly. Um, wow, you can literally get so much stuff. Whoa, you can get some really, really cool stuff right here. Okay. So, as you can see, you can get the Master Rune of Spite, which is going to give me a, a, four, a 4 plus ward save. Mm. Okay, I want to get the Rune of Fortitude. 
Where I cannot be poisoned. That sounds pretty fun too, but... Um, yeah, so what I want to do is I would ideally... And I'm not entirely sure if this is actually... I, I, I actually don't know. How is this going to work? Because here's the thing. What, what does Rune of Shielding mean? Does this mean that I only gain ward save against ranged attacks and magic missile spells? But that means that, does it stack? That's what I'm asking. Does it actually stack with the other ward save? Or does that ward save also work against those things, but it's just more expensive and this is just a specialized version of ward save? That's what I'm asking right here. Um, apart from that, we could also go for the Master Rune of Gromil here, but I'm going to go for the Rune of Fortitude, which heals um, heals things. And yes, let's add it to that. Okay, did I did I do it? Did I, did I do that? I actually have no idea. Let's have a look. Yes, there you go. I actually did it. Okay, so this is worse. Actually, slightly better. Slightly better, never mind. Slightly better than what I was using. This is actually really funny that we now have this on. Um, oh, I should have bought a... <laughs> You know what I should have bought? I should have bought a weapon to ignore board save. But what I'm mainly thinking of right now is the dungeons. Okay, I'm thinking of the dungeons. So Scory is going to get my old gear. And Bron is going to get his old gear. There we go. And then we are going to be infinitely pleased. There you are. Okay, that's fantastic. So this is really, really good, actually. I'm going to make my way over to Sylvania here because I desperately need to get into a dungeon and you're going to get to see this amazing, well, I'm going to get to see it as well, but we're, we're, we're both going to get to experience the wonders of runic armor and obviously we're going to be able to heal ourselves every single level or at least that is technically what it should do. And uh, bear in mind, I'm not going in with any companions by the looks of things. I mean, these guys, oh, it's a long in length dungeon. This is really, oh dear, we're starting up here. Ah, okay, this is very interesting. Usually you don't start up here. Usually you start in a different location. So this is going to be very interesting. Especially interesting because um, as far as I'm aware, um, Gotrek is uh, currently running around with basically... Uh, no HP, so that is probably going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, a Death Runner! I literally just killed a Death Runner super, super easily, actually. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're taking some damage, but now here's the funny thing about this. Because I have this new rune, I feel like we're actually not going to be having too many issues. I think we're going to be perfectly fine, actually, all things considered. And uh, you'll see, you'll see how much we actually heal. I think it's probably going to be quite impressive. Or at least I can only hope that it is. Where is Gotrek? Do you see where he is? He's literally not even running down here for some reason. I don't know why. What's really funny as well, um, regarding the uh, copyrighted music, I did actually turn off the new music in the menu because someone actually recommended that I do that to remove the chances that it's actually going to you know, cause a problem with copyright. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have made any difference. I have done it but it doesn't seem to really be working for me at the moment. So I'm not sure why maybe just something slipped by. But look, 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 I'm full HP. I'm full HP now, again. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, yes, that is really, really cool. All right, so I am I'm aiming right now to earn as much cash as I can get my hands on. And so basically, I'm going to ask you now, what do you think are really, really good ways of earning cash? Because from my perspective, the best way for me right now is to do dungeons, get loot from those dungeons, and take people prisoner and then sell them to ransom brokers. And I'm mostly talking about trolls here. I'm talking about trolls. However, the problem with taking Trolls Prisoner is that I'm going to need a huge amount of Blunt Weapon Users. And Blunt Weapon Users, there's the chest. Wow, I was actually really lucky to find this. Uh, blunt Weapon Users are going to be um, maybe pretty difficult to find. I mean, that's the thing. I already know for a fact that the Dwarves do have dedicated Blunt Weapon Users in the forms of of the hammerers. The hammerers are specific units that use, you know, two-handed maces. 
And so obviously it's pretty obvious that they're going to be able to knock people unconscious and so on and so forth. And that's going to be absolutely fine. Um, but the problem with that is that they're quite difficult to level up. And so I'm not entirely sure if that's even going to be working for us. But I, I just have to try, don't I? I just have to really, really try to get as much cash as possible because, you know, we have some amazing opportunities here now. We have the ability to literally create some of the most powerful weapons and armor in the entire game. And I am all for that because, let's face it, you know how I am. You know how I've, I've said I absolutely loathe ward save on, well, on the orcs specifically. But there's going to be a bunch of people that are going to be using ward save in... Uh, in this playthrough, right? Right? I actually don't know. I mean, apart from the orcs, who, who uses ward save? Well, we obviously know that the Britannians do. But who else? Who else uses ward save? I don't know. Uh, these are really terrible pieces of gear right here, but uh, well, never mind. I guess I'll take it. I mean, it's free loot, right? I might as well. Anyway, uh, apart from the Britannians, who else? Don't think the Empire does? Don't think the Tomb Kings do. I don't. Uh, the Lizard Men probably do, right? I think the Lizard Men will probably use Ward Save. And then, apart from that, who else? Who else do we have? Uh, well, obviously the Dwarves. Uh, from a certain perspective, it's actually kind of annoying that the Dwarves haven't really given me anything um, in regards to fiefs, uh, because I still only have one village. Which is somewhat disappointing, to be honest. I was kind of hoping that we'd actually have a town. But it seems like Mr. Skaven Man, the, the fellow that rules, uh, you know, rules the Skaven Underworld. They, they, he's more generous uh, to Slythe than this guy um, is to Dwarf. So, yeah, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is, you know, it's actually quite funny. I'm doing this dungeon, right? And I obviously have no idea what kind of level it is. Because, yeah, sure, we're doing a level one dungeon. But it's already scaled up thanks to Gotrek and Ogolix being in the mix. But it feels so much easier. Is that just me? Or is that just because I am actually playing relatively decently today? I don't know. Maybe that's it. I, I'm not sure. But it feels a lot more manageable. Uh, oh, it's this one. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one is actually not entirely bad. Um, this one's pretty easy to do. I think... Isn't this the exit? No, no, it's down there. There's the exit. Okay, well, I'll look around for the for the chest uh, briefly. Mm, not really going to look too hard for it on this one because, uh, well, first of all, I uh, don't really want to get swarmed by massive amounts of goblins. And also, I should technically be able to get out of here super, super fast. And this, this area is quite large, so I don't really want to. Uh, okay, unfortunate. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're actually... I mean, look at look at this. I, I'm, I'm literally getting super, super lucky right here. And I'm basically not taking any damage whatsoever. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to look around for the chest. <laughs> I need the cash, right? I need the cash, so I might as well. And uh, these goblins are, are literally just dying super fast. What What's actually going on here? It's really strange, actually. Uh, this is not a, a, not a standard... Um, I don't know, not a standard thing to happen to me. Usually, enemies are just gonna swarm me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take significant damage from some random archery shot or something, and then I'm gonna be in trouble. But uh, no, it doesn't seem like that is actually happening this time around. Yeah, but this is exactly what I was talking about. This is the reason why. I don't really like looking around on this particular level. If I do stumble across the chest, then I'm going to be happy to pick it up, of course. But in this one, I mean, yeah, you can see how annoyingly difficult it is. Is that it over there? No. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to jump down here and we'll just exit, I guess. Oh, please don't please don't die. Okay. Whew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Thankfully, I have so much HP. 
because we are literally in possession of, what is it, nine iron flesh or something? That's pretty crazy. Not entirely sure what I was thinking doing that, because usually iron flesh is one of the worst valued um, skills in the whole game. You know, if you, if you play the base game, iron flesh is usually one of the last things that you'll level up. It's just not very useful. But, uh, wow, that's some pretty nice samurai armor right there. Um, but that's the point. In this, it actually becomes so much more valuable just because you have the ability to uh, you have... I, I, what was it? I was about to say... Okay, you know what? You want to hear something funny right here? I literally... I was just about to say, you have the ability to have ignore pain, but I was going to misspeak and say, you have the ability to have iron flesh. Yes, no, iron flesh upon iron flesh, that doesn't really work out, does it? No, not at all. But yeah, I mean, no offense, but I'm actually not entirely sure what's going on here. I think I should probably increase the, um, increase the level of the dungeon that we're doing. Shouldn't I? I think so. It feels a lot easier today for some reason. And I'm in a, a similar state of mind to normal, but it feels like these enemies are just not really... Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm just being more aggressive, but I'm actually having an idea as to what's going on. I, I like, you know, that I'm, I'm actually blocking and, uh, and dodging and, and so on. I don't know, maybe the enemies are just sleeping. Uh, I mean, it's, it feels like that to me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe it's because they're intimidated. I mean, literally, I'm wearing runic armor. That might be the reason. Everything seems so much simpler. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked, to be honest, because usually... I mean, you, you know what happens usually for me. You know, usually I'm in a situation where I just get so much damage taken. But this time around, I'm having very little... I mean, look at this. I'm literally killing things so easily. These guys are just falling before us like wheat. And uh, wheat before the scythe. Or whatever the, the saying is. And look at that. I actually leveled to 24. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's actually spend that point. Let's get another point in agility here. And I guess I'll go for another point in power strike. Even though my power strike right now is actually looking pretty good. I don't actually think I need to uh, spec into that that much more. But once we actually unequip the Axe of Slaughter, we might need that extra little bit of damage because the Axe of Slaughter obviously does add a pretty significant amount of damage to your, uh, to your strikes. And so having, um, you know, having a bit more power strike here and there, it, it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt. I mean, especially considering, uh, you know, we're not actually fighting super, super difficult enemies right now. But if we do fight something that's difficult, that has a lot of, I don't know, ignore pain or it has uh, a lot of HP. Maybe it's a larger opponent. Could be, could be pretty, pretty useful to have that extra little bit of power behind our strikes. Uh, I, I am looking around for the chest right now. Um... I don't think it... I, I actually don't know whether it can be over here. I don't think I've ever found a chest here. I think one time. One time I found a chest here. And it was underneath these stairs over here. And that's it. Um, so a little bit weird. Oh, wait a minute. Is it in here? Nope. Okay. I was thinking... I, was, I saw the hay and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it in there? No, no. It would probably be sticking out a little bit anyway. Yeah, because they don't want to make it super fiendish. I mean, some of the time they are gonna they are gonna be really really fiendish with hiding it. Um, I could swear it was in there, but okay, apparently not. Here's the exit. Ah, there's the chest. Okay, Whew. okay, we know 100% now the two different two different places for it. Then so that's quite that's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so let's actually have a look. Wait a minute, one second. There we go. Let's get that. We'll just take the fine date fruit. Apparently the rest of the loot was absolutely terrible. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got goblins again! Alright, okay. Well, that's that's rather intriguing. Yeah, these guys literally... I, 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 don't, under, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on here. This is very weird. I, I mean, I guess... You know why? Okay, wait a minute. I think I know why we're having much better success. 
I think the reason for it is because we're actually able to kill enemies in one hit instead of them surviving multiple hits. Because if you think about the cumulative effect that that will have on your survival chance, for example, let's say that it takes multiple hits to kill one enemy, you are inevitably then going to have to fight more enemies at the same time as a result because you're not able to you know, swiftly eliminate enemies as they come towards you. So you're then going to have to fight, you know, one enemy, then two enemies, then three enemies, and so on and so forth, because it's taking you double the amount of time to actually kill them and get them out of your way. I can only assume that that is indeed the case. All right, <laughs> seems like I have searched everywhere here. Um, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Let me open this real fast. Yeah, there's actually, if you haven't seen this in my Skaven series, there is like this outside area, and I actually think it's really cool that they have a, uh, like a, a skybox out here. <laughs> I, d I don't know what it's for, but it's there nevertheless, and there's nothing out there, of course. And I think I've searched everywhere, but I'm going to assume that someone will know where the chest is, or someone will have seen it, maybe. I mean, we haven't searched everywhere yet, so it could still be ahead of us. But I am highly doubting it, and I'm actually thinking that I missed it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't know where it is. Oh, I'm I'm being shot. How dare you? That's not very nice of you, sir. Okay, let's not let's not be overconfident now because, you know, I don't really want to die. I'm just using the environment as a bit of a, a guard here make it so that they can only attack from one direction which obviously is good a good strategy yes good strategy sir thank you okay so wait a minute we can just yes eliminate that guy and uh yeah my, my shield's actually really nice you know i think that that was actually something that i really appreciated when we first started this character and that was having six in shield almost immediately uh, it was really, really useful in my opinion to have that because as long as I had the shield um, up, uh, I basically couldn't take any damage and it was really, really useful. There's the chest. All right, we've got a really, really nice piece of armor here. So I'm wondering what I should trade. Huh. Uh, potion of instability, I guess. I mean, gain maximum dodge for the duration of the effect. I mean... I guess the food, I guess the food, and I, I mean, yeah, I guess the food, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, there we go, we did it, uh, look at that, we actually got a Sword of Sigismund, alright, oh, an Exalted Armor, very nice, okay, I love that, very good, okay, so I will just sell the food then, I suppose, I mean, not sell the food, but you know what I mean, I'll get rid of the food. Um, that seems to be the only thing that I can really do, uh, yeah, there we go, alright. Fantastic. Wonderful. And there you go. 38 Renown is exactly what I was talking about. 38 Renown is exceptional. Massive, massive amount. Okay, so we've got a two-handed sword here. Not going to be giving that to anyone. I, I prefer Felix to have a weapon that he can use in one hand as well as two-handed. Because you never know, maybe we're going to be giving him something else. Uh, like, a, like a shield. Or whatever. Might make sense. And uh, sell so this... Yeah, we're getting 9,000 for this, which is quite nice. Actually, 11,000. Pretty good, I guess. Pretty good, right? Is that, is, that, is that okay? I don't know. I think it's fine. Oh, Marcus is here. Hello. Oh, really? I'm not level 30 yet? Oh, yeah, I was like level 24, wasn't I? I got to level 24 very recently. Oh, the Ransom Broker, do I have any people? I want... Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I wish to ransom one of the nobles in the local dungeons? Okay, that's interesting. Don't think I've ever seen that functionality before. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, the only other way that we can get cash is by doing tournaments and, as I said before, taking people prisoner. Um, so I guess the best way for me to do it is maybe just, maybe we should go on over here. I'm not sure if fighting trolls is actually going to get us some decent cash either. Because we could just fight trolls and then see what happens. 
but I don't think we're really going to be able to kill many. I mean, not, you know, not kill, but knock unconscious a bunch of them. It's going to be a little bit difficult to actually make that work. Let's go into the arena here and actually ask where these things are. Will there be a tournament? Mount Vanir. That's actually really close by, but aren't we at war against... No, we're not at war against Chaos. No, we're not at war against any of these people. And Mount Vanir is over there. I might be able to make it. Uh, I don't know. M maybe, maybe. And if I do see some trolls, we might as well fight them and see what happens. Yeah, so obviously Chaos is at war against Kislev. Alright, so are they faster than me? No, we are, we are faster than them. So we're going to we're gonna fight these... Um, or, or, or not, as the case may be. Apparently they're much faster than I am for some reason. I actually thought that I was faster than they were, but okay. Yeah, anyway. We're going to go on to Mount Vanir here. I've, I, and then we'll maybe go into the dungeon afterwards as well. I'm basically just trying to earn as much cash as possible. I don't know whether there is a better way of doing it. Like I said... I feel like the only way that I can really make cash right now is either through those three methods. Doing dungeons, getting loot, selling the loot. Doing regular battles is not really going to get us anything at all. Um, we also could just wait for some time, which is, a, I mean, it's a strategy, you know, it is a strategy because I do have a bunch of enterprises, but the enterprises are only going to get me about four to five thousand at the moment, maybe six thousand if I'm lucky per week. And that's not really going to do much. So that doesn't particularly help, does it? Um, so that's a, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, that's a problem. So uh, yeah, and apart from that, obviously, we could ransom people, we could actually go and take some trolls prisoner or something like that. And that's all I can really think of. Um, yeah, apart from doing tournaments, of course. And where are we? Oh, this is going to be a pain. Oh, this is a hugely painful one. Okay, yeah, because we're spawning down here. I was actually hoping we'd spawn up above. Ah, there we go. We've finally found our opponents. Okay, so obviously I have barely any throne skills, so I might as well not even bother using that. All I need to do is eliminate one enemy, and there we have it. Okay, done. Woohoo, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Yeah, great. Uh, it's going to be a huge pain, actually, to do these because of the, uh, the stairs and everything, but all I need to do is just eliminate two enemies from now on, and then I should be able to get to the final round relatively quickly now all i need to do is make sure that we don't get this yes <laughs> don't get stuck don't get stuck in this area the chaos horses are gonna be pretty difficult for me to use maybe oh the scory was actually in here rather amusingly enough that is quite funny uh wait 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 yes there we go thank you there we are Four teams with four fighters. Yeah, this is this is what I like. I much prefer doing this, starting at the top of the mountain so we don't have to go up the stairs. But the main problem is, where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? That's the question. I guess I'll just follow my friends and... Uh, oh, is that Gotrek? I'm going to assume it is. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, no, it's a demon slayer. Oh, okay. I've, oh, Gotrek is actually uh, is actually here. Okay, so I've eliminated one. All I need to do is eliminate one more, and then I can tab out. Just gonna jump off here. But yeah, this runic armor is absolutely insane for running dungeons, as you could no doubt tell. I didn't even need to use healing potions or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure with the amount of damage that I took, I would have been eliminated without using healing potions. So that just says everything you need to know. It's an exceptional, exceptional thing to go for here. I'm not sure why this guy's wearing a multicolored robe, but um, I assume the texture bugged out or something. <laughs> I assume something weird happened with that because that's definitely not how it's supposed to look. Anyway, um, yeah, as I say, this this runic armor improvement is just insane. And uh, exactly the reason why I wanted to uh, become a dwarf because their rune 
Runeforge is so fun. I, I feel like a lot of the other races need something similar to this effect, but obviously, you know, that's... I mean, they've got magic, right? You know, the other people have magic and everything, so... It's, uh, I, I, it is balanced in that sense. Um, because, obviously, if, it, you know, some of the magic that you're going to get is crazy good. And, I mean, we've seen it firsthand, haven't we, you know? I mean, I personally feel like the Orc Shaman, um, most notably, recently, has been very, very impressive. And it's probably one of the things that I am very tempted to play as. I'm actually very tempted to play as an Orc Shaman in a future series. Because, just sheerly because of, here we go. That's it. The, uh, the, the, the spell. It's called, here we go, you know, like that. And I am just infinitely, um, curious, shall we say, about how uh, well, what it does, actually. I, I don't know what it does, and um, all I know is that someone actually mentioned that it was really, really good and really powerful. And um, I can only assume that what it does is it, you know, improves, well, their speed, attack speed, reduces damage taken, or something along those lines. And in which case, well, that's exceptionally good, isn't it? I mean, we really want to get something like that. Um, you know, as a as an orc shaman, and I don't even know what it's really going to do. Maybe it's going to be super, super fantastic, or maybe it's going to be, um, I don't know. That's the thing. An orc shaman is it a support character? Yes, probably. And in in which case, you're going to then have to be really, uh, well, you're going to have to play very passively at that point as well, which is maybe not something that, uh, I mean, that's the thing. I personally don't mind that. I actually love the idea of being a support character. I think, you know, playing a healer or a support-ish character in MMORPGs, for example, is very, uh, very appealing, you know? It's very appealing to me. So, you know, generally, I, I, I very much enjoy doing that. Never, nevertheless, I don't usually do those kinds of things, so, you know. I usually play a damage dealer or something along those lines just because it is a lot more, well, shall we say, I'm just a lot better at that. Yes. <laughs> it is a lot more difficult to play a healer than it is to, uh, at least in my opinion, I don't know. It depends on the healer, I guess. But um, I personally think it is a lot harder to play a healer than it is to play a damage dealer. Uh, I'm looking for the chest. There it is. I see it. I spotted you. You're never going to... Oh, hello there. We got some very, very nice dwarven armor. We're probably going to be giving that to Bronn. Even though I would like to sell it, to be honest. I would very much like to sell it, but... Well, you know how it is. Maybe it's a good idea not to just it, just for this. I don't know. Is the chest down there in that cart? I don't see it. How did Ogalix kill someone from over there? I have no idea. Oh well. Never mind. Okay, now let's... Uh, who's this guy? Oh, that's a Darklon. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the Chaos Dwarves. Okay, yeah. Speaking of Chaos Dwarves, I actually remember... I remember seeing someone play as the Chaos Dwarves in Blood Bowl 2. Is that true? Is it is it true that it was Blood Bowl 2? I actually can't remember now, but uh, I remember seeing that and thinking, wow, this team is super, super strong. And I'm wondering, are they the same? Are they the same in this? As I think as far as I'm aware, someone actually did mention their experience with the Chaos Dwarves in uh, in Warsaw Conquest and uh, they said that they were extremely powerful. So I'm wondering what makes them powerful? What actually makes them powerful? Because from what I can tell, um, they, they seem, I, I'm not gonna say that they seem particularly, uh, particularly weak or particularly strong either way, but all I know or all I can see right now is that they seem solid, you know, they seem solid, but it must be that they are exceptional in some way or another to, you know, to make someone say that. So I don't know. Maybe they have some 
some uh, I, I mean that's the thing do they use magic do they uh, you know because dwarves obviously don't use magic so I'm wondering whether chaos dwarves do I have no idea I can assume that maybe they do because they they uh, I don't know have some have some connection to chaos itself I, I'm not entirely sure as I say so I, I I don't know I guess we'll see but anyway uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem because I'm not a big fan of fighting chaos in general I really actually don't like fighting chaos ever because their their models are massive and it it really throws me off I'm not sure <laughs> it just really throws me off a huge amount okay there we go um, yeah also it's probably a good idea for us to. And this is a this is kind of like a thing where I'm not entirely sure yet on what I'm gonna do, but someone did recommend that I get the ward save. There's the chest over there, by the way. I get the ward save from Cyrus instead of getting it from uh, the runic armor because then I can obviously put other benefits on the runic armor and then I don't have to worry about getting ward save because the ward save obviously is a hundred thousand to put it on the uh, on the armor and I think I have to have to spend a lot more a lordly Saurus revered helmet are you serious a lordly that's absolutely insane that is literally one of the most most expensive items that I've ever seen that's very nice thank you very much okay yeah that's great that is exceptional that is so so good okay i'm really really pleased about that um <laughs> oh that's that's great okay yeah that has literally just made this entire dungeon run completely worth it um even just by itself to be honest but um yeah i mean obviously you know we're talking about ward save here but yeah the fact is obviously if we get it from cyrus it's just going to be uh, you know kind of like a blessing or whatever it is and we don't have to equip any particular piece of armor and if I uh, do get the other runes on the armor, then we don't really need to have that slot be taken up by ward save. So it actually gives us, technically it gives us more value, which is definitely something that I want. So yeah, we're probably gonna be doing that. Um, but that's obviously gonna, again, cost a huge amount of money. So that is one of those things that we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to do something about that again as well. I'm actually thinking. I mean, here's the thing: we're not making a huge amount of cash right now because we don't actually own a town. Yeah, these are all terrible. Um, I'll, I'll take the grapes, I guess, <laughs> and the orc weapon, even though it's really not gonna get us anything at all. Um, but yeah, so as I say, we just don't have a town. And I think that's the main that's the main cause for concern. So I'm wondering, is there a way that I can actually capture a town with my current army? I might be able to. Maybe. I mean, that's the thing. Slythe, right? Slythe at this point was very, very strong. He had a katana that was capable of instantly killing enemies. And Dwarf, while he does have the Axe of Slaughter, it is not as powerful as the katana was because the katana had insane speed damage it was capable of instantly killing large units and uh slithe for some reason was just uh i don't know he just seemed well not unstoppable but he seemed a lot stronger and i i can assume i can probably put it down to the fact that he had the katana i guess um, but yeah, uh, anyway, this is the exit right here, but I'm going to assume that there is a chest, but what? Gotrek, did you literally just fall off the edge? He did. I'm going to go to the next dungeon so that he doesn't die because he fell off. He literally fell off. And if I waited until he hit the ground, then, uh, he would have died and then I wouldn't have been able to use him in this one. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly not my uh, not my intention, actually, to be honest. I was thinking that I'd search a little bit for it. Oh, we're getting some nice ice armor here. Very nice. Cool, cool. All right, I like that. Yeah, we got some high elven armor there and some blood knight armor. Very good. And uh, yeah, we're fighting Skaven. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like these guys literally just... 
Oh, they just die. Look at that. They're, they're just dying. And um, they're not really doing that much damage to me. Hilariously enough, I'm probably going to take a massive, massive hit from this guy over here in just a moment. What is he doing? Did you see that? He was trying to reacquire the target multiple times. Very, very strange that he uh, hesitated so dramatically, but all right. <laughs> if he wants to do that, then who am I to stop him, right? Anyway, here we go. This is the final room as far as I'm aware. Oh, it's Skaven again. And um, we're getting a Poisoned Wind Globe Deer. That makes me a little bit worried. Because that means that we might get some Scryer Gisales or something a little bit harder in here, maybe? Not sure. Uh, we got these guys. Okay, you can just kill that. There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can just fall off there. Oh, Gotrek, no. Why are you doing that, sir? Yeah, Scryer Gisale. Yeah, as I thought. So, in general, yes, we are going to be facing some tougher opposition here but thankfully it's not a level 10 right funnily enough i feel like we could do a level 10 dungeon maybe now now that i have the uh the ability to heal myself every single level then i think it's it's possible it is possible for us to maybe make the uh maybe maybe make the effort to be able to do it i mean look at this i am killing most enemies in one hit as well and some of these, most of these maybe, we're also going to be facing in a level 10 dungeon. Uh, but obviously they're going to be more difficult. I mean, of course, you know, most enemies in a level 10 are of course going to be difficult. We're going to get a lot of rat ogres as well. Which obviously, we don't have an insta-kill weapon right here. So having an insta-kill weapon would really make a big difference. Also having the... Um, Having the sword as well, the uh, the sword that I'm talking about is the one that gives you maximum dodge when you use it. And, uh, well, basically, I mean, you can obviously tell what that means. Basically, if I had ward save, maximum dodge, advanced ignore pain, and all of this wonderful stuff, well, it's going to be exceptionally difficult for me to be killed. What's this? Every time an enemy... Oh... <laughs> okay, this is obviously fantastic if you are Chaos or Beast Man. But as it stands, I'm neither, and I'm not going to be using any of those either, so I'm going to be selling that. And we are also, we are in a great position right here, because look at what we're getting. This is an insanely good weapon that I'm going to be selling, and we also gain some good boots as well, 11,500. There you go, another 38 Renown. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I don't mean to use a slogan right now, or... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it is a slogan. Or a catchphrase. I don't mean to use a catchphrase right now, but yeah, I am absolutely loving how much Renown and how much gold we're getting from this. It's so, so good. All right, so we're going to be giving this armor to... Uh, Bron, I guess? Yeah, we'll give it to Bron. And we can sell this, obviously. I'm not going to be using any Chaos or Beastmen people. There's 6,400 from the Saurus helmet. 611 only for the High Elven armor, but that's okay. Blood Knight, 2,000. 3,000 for the Reinforced Plate boots. 202 for that. And we're basically done. And look at that. I just gained another 17,000 in cash. I mean, no offense, but I'm not sure what uh, what other thing we could do to uh, to earn money, as I say. I mean, I'm trying to think of things. I'm still trying to rack my brain and see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Because maybe there's something specific to Warlord, uh, Warlord Conquest? No, it's Warsword, not Warlord. But yes, Warsword Conquest that I could also be doing. I don't know, maybe there's something specific that would help me with that. I could take people prisoner and then ransom them. That might be something that would be somewhat useful. I don't know. There's actually something going on in Kislev as we speak. So I might as well go over there. There is actually a tournament going on there. Um, but yeah, this is a bit more of a, I guess, a pretty relaxed episode. But yeah, you can see here that most of my income is from... Um, you know, is from uh, enterprises and things. And funnily enough, my my ironworks at the Mighty Fist is only getting me 402. Huh. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe I need to do something about that. I think I have enough to get advanced ignore pain now as well. I think it was 40,000, wasn't it? So if I can do that, 
I would love to be able to because advanced ignore pain is really going to make a huge difference to our overall survivability and don't even get me started on how effective that's going to be in dungeons as well and uh, maybe even in sieges because obviously we're going to have to take a town soon enough it's going to be extremely important for us to take a town and uh, I can only say that you know what's going to happen if the dwarves don't give me the town if I if I do manage to take it myself I am literally going to probably betray them and uh, you know go on from there but the thing is and now this is this is the main problem okay this is the main problem wow I literally just took 49 damage and lived okay um, yeah, so the main problem that I'm now having is the fact that if I do decide to, uh, you know, betray the dwarves, which is obviously not set in stone at the moment, but I think it could be a pretty fun idea. But let's just say that I do it. I'm not then going to have access to a rune forge, am I? I'm actually not sure, because the rune forge is only available, as far as I'm aware, if you go to a dwarven town, right? Is that true? I'm pretty sure that that's true. Um, and so in that case, that makes it very, very difficult for me because now I'm now I'm thinking, well, well, what am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to wait until I have all my runic gear before I actually, you know, leave the dwarves if I want to leave the dwarves in, in, that, uh, in that situation? I don't know. I guess so. I guess that's the only thing that I could really um, accomplish at that point. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, actually not. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Yeah, there you go. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Okay, so now we just have a one-handed. Wow, they really gave me... They, they saved the best weapon for last, didn't they? Uh, although, did they, really? Because I only did 22 damage with this thing. Yeah, it just goes to show that the Axe of Slaughter is carrying me really, really hard. There you go. <laughs> that was wonderful. All right, there you are. Look at that, another 10,000. We got another 20 Renown. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing nice. I feel like we're doing really, really nicely here. Okay, so let me just see. I'm going to actually speak to this guy and um, save the village of Ostrodi from marauding bandits. Let's go ahead and do that. Nurgle Zealots to fight. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to basically just hold position here. I'm just going to let my uh, ranged troops do their thing. And I'm going to use my own... <laughs> yes, my own ranged weapon as well. I actually really like the uh, really like the shotgun. Thank you very much for the recommendation as well. I, uh, I think I neglected to say thank you in the previous episode. So thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it right now. Okay, so one thing that we've got to also think about is the fact that if we can... I don't know, is this is this actually going to give me Renown? Because sometimes it gives me Renown and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. But I can only hope that we are going to get Renown for it. There we go, there's the victory. And I'm going to actually go back to the Dwarven Town right now. Yeah, it gives me three, but that's it, really. That's absolutely terrible. That is really, really terrible. Okay, so let's actually go over here. Um, <laughs> see, now, the main problem with actually attacking a, dw a dwarven town as well is the fact that uh, if... if uh, is, and I'm talking about if we do decide to rebel against them. The main problem is we're then going to have to face dwarven units. And, uh, well, as you've seen from the Skaven series... They're not fun to fight, you know. The dwarven dwarven people are extremely difficult to uh, deal with. So let's go into the Rune Forge. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so we can now get advanced ignore. Uh, do I have enough for it? I do have enough for this. I do have enough for this, don't I? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, I almost do. Ah, uh, well, that's sad, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, that's really sad. I was actually kind of hoping that we'd be able to, you know, do something. Karaz e Karak. Uh, Kislev is having another tournament, really? Huh. Do I want to go all the way back over there? Not really. I could go to Kislev and do another one, or I could go to North Spur Dungeon. I'm going to go to North Spur Dungeon. 
I forgot we were at war against these guys. Uh, Balthazar is not that damaging. Uh, at least... Uh, okay, here's the thing. We fought him as Slive, and he actually doesn't cast that many spells. Um, even though, isn't he supposed to be really, really strong with spells? I'm actually not entirely sure, but whatever the case... Uh, this is actually a pretty amazing place for us to be on. Could we... Can we actually win this, though? I, I don't think so, somehow. I really, really don't think we're going to be able to win this. This is going to be very, very damaging for us. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But all we need to do is just eliminate a couple of enemies. And... Then that's it, basically. That's all we need to do. Oh, my forces are actually quite fast. Oh, okay. This is nice. I thought they were going to take an age to get over here. To be honest. Okay, yeah. Magical protection is being soaked, as you might expect. However, we are getting shot difficulty 12 right now, which is giving me a good amount of proficiency. And who knows? Maybe I'm going to be able to get a couple of kills here and there, or at least get a couple of headshots or something. Okay, let's get these guys over here. Okay, no, 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 I don't want you to attack the enemy infantry division. Why are you doing that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, now this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, that automatic thing really annoys me, actually, at times. Okay, yeah, nearby enemy troops have fighting ability augmented. Okay. Um. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, is he being killed? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, are you serious? Get out of here. Okay, this is very damaging. Okay, are you are you actually going to do damage? Yes, thank you. Okay, kill, kill that guy. Okay, I'm going to heal myself. Healing potion, thank you. I'm not sure what's up, but my game is actually having some huge frame spikes right now. This is a bit weird. I don't, I don't know why that is, but apparently that is happening. Uh, we're going to have to tell our forces to charge in here. And I will have to... This guy is literally charging right after me. That's very annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat right now. But the main reason why I'm going to retreat is because we've actually eliminated a lot of enemies. And I can actually just get out of here straight up. And there you go. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Okay. Um, <laughs> that was actually a lot easier than anticipated. I thought to myself, yeah, we're going to have some huge problems here. But yeah, I mean, obviously we were going to lose very, very badly. But thankfully, not so much. Not so much. We're, we're okay still. Um, it just goes to show that I really need to be a little bit more on the ball about seeing what's happening here. Oh no, are you joking? These guys are literally just making it very difficult for me to leave. There we go. Let's get out of there. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it, actually, for this episode. I, I've gone a little bit over time. And um, it's a bit more of a relaxed episode this time. I hope you liked that. If you didn't, then, well, I'm very sorry. But sometimes you have to do these other things to be able to earn the amazing upgrades that the dwarves now have available and uh, have, have allowed us to use. So I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.